London's Air Ambulance is on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Covering 600 square miles, their team can be treating a patient within 15 minutes of the 999 call. And today, I'll be finding out what it's like to be a member of the crew. As a patron of London's Air Ambulance, I couldn't wait to get started. And almost as soon as I donned my flight suit, our first call came in. It sounds like we've got a job. It's in, in West London. It's an RTC, probably a motorcycle versus car. That's kind of all we know at the moment. Okay. We'll join the rest of the team after the aircraft. Right. Let's go. Within minutes of receiving West London as the destination, we're in the air and en route. On average, the London Air Ambulance crew treat five people every day, with 20% of patients flown to hospital. One of the crew working on shift with me this morning is Dr. Dean Kersley, who first started with the charity in 2010. So Dean, that was a pretty full-on call out there. Yeah. Just summarise for me what actually was going on. This was a critically injured motorcyclist. The crucial thing is that we take the emergency department resuscitation room and intensive care unit to the patient at the roadside. We can deliver emergency anaesthetic. We can make holes in the chest if they've got problems with their lung and chest injuries. And it's crucial we do these things as quickly as possible and then alert the major trauma centre and move the patient to their definitive care at that major trauma centre. Being a charity, London's Air Ambulance work closely with medical consultants. The consultant on call today is Gareth Greer. Our most common type of incident are road traffic collisions, but then also a no number of other things, so people falling off buildings, and then increasingly people who are being stabbed and assaulted. Now, recently we had the Westminster Bridge attacks. How was the work on that day for the Air Ambulance different from a normal day? The team didn't realise initially that they were going to this type of incident. We're now sadly getting used to these calls being given as someone knocked over. All of a sudden the team have to adjust to, to this very different set of circumstances. So often the team will turn into slightly different roles of trying to multitask and doing lots of things for lots of different people. Logistically it must be very difficult to prepare for something like that. Well we train for these things and you know I think it is a reality of uh, the current time that these things are something that we need to prepare for regularly. It was not long before we were in the air again. So what do we know about the case we're going to? We have limited information really. We think it may be an assault um, and that's the most we know. Um, and there may or may not be a head injury with that. Uh, but there could be multiple injuries. Okay, do we know how far we're travelling? It's five miles, which is about two minute flight time. Right. We've done all the kit checks, we know which kit we want, but the pilots can always bring us more if we need it on the scene. Right. You always have to be mentally prepared and you have to think about what scenarios you might come across. Okay, and this is the second one of the day, you've got your gloves on. I shall do the same. Already, already. Uh, you're, you're more prepared than I am. London's Air Ambulance have helped over 36,000 people since its inception. One person who received such treatment was Paul Brown. So what happened on the day of your accident? I was cycling to work um, down quite a steep hill um, and as I was coming down there was a van coming up the hill, cut across my path and, and basically I T-boned him, smashed into him and went over the top. I think they worked on me for about an hour. It was quite a complicated one because of, because of the breathing problems and the, the fracture to the spine. They did a phenomenal job. How do you think it might have turned out had the air ambulance not been available? I don't know whether I would have survived, to be honest. I'm just very grateful that they, they were there. After spending time with the team today, it's very, very clear that the London Air Ambulance plays an integral part in bringing acute medical care when every second counts. <laughs>